In this part, we are going to add the detail page and so the user click on this and we'll go to the details and see the to-do details and so we are going to use the Next.js dynamic route and so first we go to the pages and create a new folder called to-dos and then under this folder we create another file called id.js so later our URL can make use of the to-dos and then add some IDs and go to that detail page. So we back to the ID.js and create the components. And then we change this to details. And now we are going to use the material UI grid. So we replace this with the grid. And we have to import the grid from the material UI and then we close the grid and then we type detail this word and then we go back to the to-do items because we want to make the items that when you just click on this button will go to the detail page so we back to the to-do items and we find the more vertical icons and then we go to create another function called see more is equal to id event and then again we have to stop the publications if we do not have the stop publications we will click on the vertical button and then it will trigger these functions and this is not what we want so we have to add the event.stop publications and then we have to import the use route because we have to go to another page so we have to import the use router from next and then router and then we have to create a router constant router is equal to use router and then we back to the functions and then we type router dot push and then we use the to do because our folder name is to do's and then we pass this ID to this route so we use the template row so after we create this function we are going to buy this to another icon so we paste on this and then we change this to see more So we can back to the page and we try to click on the button. And now if we click on this, we can see the details. We just see this word because we haven't passed any other information to this page.